The day marked on 4 May every year had no central gathering as has been the norm, leaving each to remember the day in isolation. As preventative measures against the spread of coronavirus, gatherings in large groups have been prohibited in conformity with the state of emergency declared by President Hage Gengop last month. For survivors, this was a tall order. The Kasinga massacre occurred on 4 May 1979 when South African Defence Force planes flew over the Swapo refugee camp at Kasinga in southern Angola and dropped bombs destroying infrastructure and killing close to 600 Namibians. Most of those who died were children and women who were accommodated at the transit camp. About 400 people were wounded. Every year, the survivors of the Kasinga attack gather and lit candles to pay their respects to those who died on the day while singing songs of the liberation struggle. However, this year, survivors made peace with the situation and commemorate the day in their houses with only family members to lean on. It was exactly this morning that by this time we, we were under attack. And uh, however, I'm encouraging my fellow uh, Namibians and uh, my comrades, uh, survivors, non-survivors, I know we are all survivors in one way or another, that we should take this opportunity, uh, even though we are not able to gather in groups to, to remember and commemorate the, the day in, in a group, it is important that we should do it in our houses, less, less remembering our comrades and, uh, and also let's keep ourselves in houses that uh, this is uh, the enemy also we are fighting, which is also uh, COVID-19, which is almost the same, which is also affecting our society. Elise Hishongwa, another survivor, called on all Namibians to comply with the lockdown measures and guidelines to save lives. If there was no corona isolation, you could go and meet other colleagues, other survivors, then you share the day. But anyway, uh, we have just to take it so because it's a the isolation or the lockdown you have also to save lives of others not yours only and also to be to survive in many ways because if you go out you might have been survived in Kasinga of the war but you will die because of corona and in that way you have to stay alone and uh, hold that uh, tears on your own. She encouraged the youth to learn the history of the country and preserve it for the new generation to come. Hishongwa also called on parents to tell their children about the importance of the Kasinga Day in the history of Namibia. Indileni Hamutengela was nine years old when Kasinga was attacked. She said every year on 4 May, she wakes up around 7 o'clock in the morning, remembering the black smoke covering the camp, sounds of gunfire, and seeing lifeless bodies scattered around. Uh, and now my colleague, uh, she was, uh, you know, shot in, the, in, 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 in that spot. I ran away without knowing where I, where I was going. I could see aircraft and I could hear, you know, the bomb, the bomb movement. And from there, I went straight to the to the to the, to the, to the side of the river. It's where I survived. As the survivors reflect on the loss of their comrades on that fateful day and other subsequent battles, it is not all a lost cause. On 21 March 1990, they stood by and watched as the Namibian flag was hoisted for the first time, recognizing the country as a sovereign nation.